Assalamu alaikum and good day. My name is Maratu Kiptia from SMPKH3 and today I will present my poster. So let's get started. I will start my presentation for comparative anatomy for a production system of cow, eel and a mare. So this is the basic structure of the reproductive system. Actually it is a cow reproductive system. Uh, for a vagina, it is for a vagina. The semen is deposited into the reproductive system to the vagina. F a cervix is a muscular structure functioning as a passageway for the sperm and keeps bacteria from in entering. It also acts as a part of birth canal when there is a birth processing. So for the uterus, the uterus, the fertilized egg develops in the uterus before birth. The ovida or fallopian tube is a tube-like structure that carries the egg from the ovary to the uterus. It is the site where sperm and egg meet, met during fertilization. The ovary, it produces the female sex cell called eggs or ova and sex hormone. The ova are released from follicle on the ovary. So the sign of uterus is uterus of heat is the period during which the, uh, the female will accept the male for mating. This is the this is the table for a comparative anatomy. So what is a cow? It is a female bovine. What is a ewe? It is a female ovine or female sheep. What is a mare? It is a female equine or a female horses. So the vagina in cow it is eight inches long, in the ewe it is six inches long, and in the mare it is five point nine to seven point nine inches in long. So for the cervix in cow it is four to five inches long and one to two inches in diameter. It has transverse interlocking ridges known as annular rings that help seal the uterus from the contaminants. The ewe it also have transverse interlocking ridges known as annular rings that help seal the uterus from contaminants. For the mare, it is, its cervix is two to two point eight inches long. The cervical canal is more open than other farm species. Species. Is mucosal fold in the canal which projects into the vagina help prevent contaminants. And for the uterus, the for the cow, the body of the uterus is less than two inches long. It is bicornuate uterus. For the ewe, it is bicornuate uterus. It is also a bicornuate uterus. And the body and for the mare. The body of the uterus is 7.1 to 7.9 inches long. And the mare is a bipartite uterus. Bipartite. Bipartite uterus. It is, actually, it is, it is more or less the same like bicornuate uterus, but it is much shorter, I think. So for the ovida of the cow it is approximately 10 inches long and a quarter inch in diameter in ewe it is approximately 15 inches long in the mare it is approximately 7.9 to 9.8 inches long the ovida so the ovary in the cow is 1.5 inches long and three quarter inch in diameter its shape is oval. It is monotocus or also known as only can conceive one child at a time or can only can produce one ovary one over at a time. So for the ewe, it is less than half the size of those of a cow. It is almond shape and its ovary is also monotocus. And for the mare, it is its ovary is two point eight to three point one inch in length and one point two to one point six inch in diameter. 
it is in kidney shape it's ovary and it, it is also a monotocus so the age of puberty for the cow it is between six point is six point it is between six to twelve months for the ewe the age of puberty is between five to nine months the mare is the age of puberty is between 10 point <laughs> 10 to 12 months so the sign of uterus it is estrus or the sign of heat in cow it have it may have a swollen or inflamed vulva from which vaginal discharges or mucus are secreted the ew its vulva may like may be slightly enlarged and secrete mucus so for the mare it shows a raised tail and a relaxed vulva with with mucus discharges so this is the diagram for the cow cow reproductive system this is the ew diagram of reproductive system and this is the uh, the mare reproductive system i guess that is all for me thank you